Good morning, students. Well, I think uh, we have studied uh, till evaporation, that is, uh, suppression of soluble solid substances from liquids, right? Then we have studied till the, in the previous class. So now we will be studying about condensation. What is it? It is condensation. What do you mean by condensation? What we are doing here? We are changing that vapor. That is gaseous state. Vapor is in gaseous state. We are changing this to its liquid state. That is water. So the process of changing of vapor into water into its liquid on cooling then we call it as condensation is this clear you might have observed whenever the water vapor <coughs> whenever the water vapor comes in contact with cold surface so this vapor has to come in contact with cold surface then this changes into drops of that liquid. So whenever this vapor is coming in contact with the cooler or with the cold, then it changes into drops of water due to this condensation. So here the gaseous state is converted into its liquid state upon cooling. Alright? So if we heat the water, if we heat the liquid substance, it is going to change into its vapor state that is on boiling. What we are doing here, we are cooling this vapor, vapor is always in the gaseous state. So whatever the vapor is there, it is cooled and then it is converted into its liquid. Is this clear? So this is about condensation. To understand this, we have an activity that is Activity 8. They have taken a kettle. In that kettle, what they have taken? They have taken salt solution. Salt solution means it will be a salt plus water, that is salt as well as solvent. Then what they will do is they will take tripod stand. So that kettle is made. To sit here, the kettle is placed on this and here we have salt solution in it. Then what we will do, we will take a pan, pan will be somewhere here and we will be having some ice cubes in this and we will place a beaker here. So when this is burnt, when the, when heat is supplied due to Bunsen burner, we call it as Bunsen burner, right? So as this Bunsen burner is lit up, the heat starts giving to this kettle. So what kettle is going to do, as the kettle is having liquid in it, that liquid state starts vaporizing. It starts vaporizing and we can find that the gas is moving here. So when the gas or when the steam is coming out of this kettle, it is going to reach this pad which is having ice cubes in it. Is this clear? We have placed one pad which is having ice cube in it. Whenever this steam is touching this, pan and in that pan there are ice cubes. So what happens? This gaseous form is going to touch this and it forms in the form of liquid in the beaker. So here we find only water is stored here and inside it only there will be salt left behind. Is this point clear? 
ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೋ ಅವರು ಒಂದ್ ಕೆಟ್ಟಲ್ ತೋತಾರ ಆ ಕೆಟ್ಟಲ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಸಾಲ್ಟ್ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಏನ್ ಹಾಕ್ತಾರ ಸಾಲ್ಟ್ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸಾಲ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ರೈಟ್ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಒಂದು ಟ್ರೈಪಾಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ತಗೊಂಡು ಅದು ಕೆಳಗೆ ಕೊನ್ಸರ್ ಬರ್ನರ್ ಇಟ್ಟು ಆ ಟ್ರೈಪಾಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಈ ಕೆಟ್ಟಲ್ ಅನ್ನ ಇಟ್ಟು ಅದನ್ನ ನಾವು ಹೀಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಹೀಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಏನಾಗ್ತದ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಬನ್ಸರ್ ಬಂದಲ್ಲಿ ಹೀಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಈ ಕೆಟ್ಲ ಒಳಗೆ ಇರತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಲಿಕ್ವಿಡ್ ಲಿಕ್ವಿಡ್ ಯಾವುದಲ್ಲಿ ವಾಟರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಸಾಲ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಹಸ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಸಾಲ್ಟ್ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಸೊ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ವಾಟರ್ ಏನಾಗ್ತದೆ ಹೀಟ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆದಂಗೆ ಆದಂಗ ಅದು ಇವ್ಯಾಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಆಗಕ್ಕೆ ಚಲೋ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಆವಿ ಆಗಕ್ಕೆ ಚಲೋ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ಆ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಾಗ ಅದು ಆವಿ ಆಗಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಜಾಗ ಇರೋದಂದ್ರೆ ಈ ಕಡೆ ಹೊರಗೆ ಬರಕ್ಕೆ ಅಷ್ಟೆ ಸೊ ಅದು ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಹೊರಗೆ ಬರುತ್ತಂತ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಒಂದು ಫ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಪ್ಯಾನ್ ಇಟ್ಟಿರ್ತೀವಿ ಆ ಫ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಪ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಐಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂಬ್ ಇಟ್ಟಿರ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಅವಾಗ ಏನಾಗ್ತದ ಇದು ವೇಪರ್ ಆ ಕೋಲ್ಡ್ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಗೆ ಬಂದು ಕಾಂಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ಕಾಂಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿಂದ ಅದು ವೇಪರ್ ಇದ್ದಿದ್ದು ಏನಾಯ್ತು ವಾಟರ್ ಆಗಿ ವಾಟರ್ ಡ್ರಾಪ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಈ ಬೀಕರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬೀಳ್ತದ ಸೊ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಕೆಟ್ಟೊಳಗೆ ಏನು ಇರ್ತದ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವಿತ್ ಸಾಲ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೌ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಸಾಲ್ಟ್ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಂಡನ್ಸೇಷನ್ ಆಲ್ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಕಂಡನ್ಸೇಷನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಚೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಚೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ವೇಪರ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಲಿಕ್ವಿಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ಕಂಡನ್ಸೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಟು ಎವ್ರಿಮನ್ ಆಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಫೈನ್ we have distillation distillation fractional distillation we will be learning it in class 9 but what is distillation we will see it so this distillation is a process of obtaining both it is a process of obtaining both the dissolved soluble substance it is a process of obtaining both the dissolved soluble substances and the liquid in which it is dissolved so are you getting my point so process of changing sorry process of obtaining both the substances both the soluble substances or both the dissolved soluble substances and the liquid in which it is dissolved for this we call it as distillation the word is both both the dissolved substances it will be separated but how we see that we'll take a stand all right then we'll take one distillation class one distillation class is added to this so this is distillation flask and this is a flask and this is what you call as condenser and then we will fix this and we will insert one thermometer this is clear we have taken one stand and we have fixed the this is distillation flask distillation flask and this is condenser we have uh, fixed we have closed this distillation flask and we have inserted one thermometer so that what kind of temperature is raised how much kind of how much uh, temperature is raised you know that then we will fix one condenser to it and at the end of the condenser what we are going to do we are going to keep one flask this is how the apparatus is set for this distillation 
So whatever the mixture is heated, whatever the mixture is heated, as it gets, we will take one Munsell burner, so that that burner has to provide heat for this displacement class. So once that Bunsen burner starts heating, as this distillation flask gets heat, whatever the mixture is there inside, the liquid part of it is going to evaporate. To evaporate, this flask is closed. So what it does, it starts moving in this direction and there is a condenser in this direction. So with the help of condenser, the drops of water fall in this flask. So here the liquid part is separated whereas the solid is remaining in this distillation flask. Is this clear? This is what is called as distillation. So we are separating both the dissolved substances and the liquid in which it is dissolved. Alright? This is how this uh, distillation works. Madhleda again Marthi, one standing now, distillation flask in set Marthi, a flask kele ge, tripod stand into Bunsen burner in Tivi, Amele, our distillation flask na, now complete a close Marthi, was the thermometer in Tivi, under temperature eight degree rise aga the heat ge. Amele, Ikade, now on the way between Tivi, a condenser na fix Marthi, a condenser ending ge, now on the flask in Tivi. In the other video, Andra, now, where the mixture na, the distillation flask only, it heat marthi vi, with the help of Bunsen burner, in the heat act the heat act in the, it is going to get vaporized, then I will go away at it. But, away at it and the flask with the lid close other. So, it has to take diversion, that is, gel jana sheet to the early book. Ami then act in the condenser in the, that is, in the vapor in the, Condense agi, and that cool agi, adu a vapor in the liquid steady form I think. So, a little drops of that liquid is going to come and fill or come and fall in this flask. So, here the liquid is separated and the solid is left behind. And the solid is left behind in this distillation flask. Is this clear? Fine. Activity, that is activity 9. Here the mixture is of oil and water. So we have oil as well as water. Here we are using separating funnel. We will take one now. Separating funnel. Then after separating funnel, what do we do? That separating funnel. So this is about separating funnel. So what we do? We pour from the top oil as well as water. So when we pour both, then for some time it is going to mix. So starting now, after the gain after oil have water only mix after that. But when we leave it undisturbed. But when we leave it undisturbed, at that moment, there is a layer formed, separate, separate layer is visible, oil and water. Separate layer of oil and water. So what happens then? As we leave undisturbed, as we are going to leave it undisturbed for some time, those all two get separated and they form one separate layer. The below layer is going to be of water and the above layer is going to be of oil. It is depending upon the density. So what is going to be in the lower part whereas the oil is going to be in the upper part and where they meet, there the layer is formed. So at that moment what we have to do, we have to take one beaker We have to take one beaker.
Then we have open this puck. Its stop is, or we call it as cock. What it has to be done? It has to be opened so that only water is going to fill in this. Only the water should come. When this layer is coming and touching here, then what we have to do? We have to close the lid again. We have to close that cock so that oil doesn't come and settle in the beaker. Is this clear? So, in my first thing now, one separating funnel to make it. ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಸೊ ಯಾವಾಗ ನಾವು ಅದನ್ನು ಅನ್ಡಿಸ್ಟರ್ಬ್ ಮಾಡಲಾರದೆ ಬಿಡ್ತೀವಿ ಯಾವಾಗ ಡಿಸ್ಟರ್ಬ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ನಾವು ಬಿಡ್ತೀವಿ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ತಾಯಿಂದ ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಲೇರ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಗ್ತವು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಲೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಗಿಲ್ಲ ಅವೆರಡು ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಇದ್ದಾಗ ನಾವು ಈ ಕಾಪನ್ನ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಕಾಪನ್ನ ಸ್ಲೋ ಆಗಿ ಓಪನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅವಾಗ ಇದು ಕೆಳಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ವಾಟರ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಏನಾಗ್ತದ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದು ಬಿಡಕ್ ಚಲೋ ಬಟ್ ಈ ಲೇರ್ ನಾವು ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಇರೋದ್ ಲೇರ್ ಹಾಗೆ ಕೆಳಗೆ ಇಳ್ಕೋತ ಬರ್ತಿರ್ತದೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಇದೇನಾಗ್ತದೆ ಕೆಳಗೆ ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದು ಬರ್ತದೆ ಈ ಲೇರ್ ಏನು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬರ್ತದಲ್ಲ ಅವಾಗ ಹೊಳೆ ನಾವು ಕಾಕನ್ನು ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಅವಾಗ ಏನಾಗ್ತದೆ ವಿಲ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬೀಕರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಆಯಿಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸಪ್ರೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಫನಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೌ ದಿಸ್ ಸಪ್ರೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಯಿಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ಡನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಆಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ the separation of oil and water for this we call them as immiscible liquids immiscible liquids clear so actually immiscible liquids means the liquids which do not mix which do not mix so as we have seen just now an activity that is nine oil and water <coughs> oil is not going to mix with water they are float oil is floating on the water that is why we had seen water was in the down layer whereas the oil was on the upper surface of that water so for these liquids we call them as immiscible liquids because they do not mix fine and there are few cases where uh, we cannot use only one method to separate there we require two or more than two methods so that the mixture can be separated clearly all right so where there are few cases where separation of mixtures can be done by using two or more than two methods that is sometimes distillation can be done then sometimes evaporation can be done sometimes condensation has to be done then only that mixture can be separated these are the examples right when we look at activity number 10 activity 10 it is separating sand and salt how we have to separate it so here first we will take a <coughs> mixture of sand and salt so what happens is when sand is added in the water <coughs> what the sand is going to do it is going to settle at the bottom so sand is settling at the bottom so here what we have to do we will separate sand first now. how we are going to do that so how we have to separate sand <coughs> assume that this is the mixture of sand salt and water 
So as sand particles are heavier in nature, they are going to come and settle at the bottom of the beaker. At that moment, we have to use decantation or filtration. So filtration or decantation. By this method, what we are going to do? We are going to separate sand from where salt water. Are you getting my point? So, as the sand particles are heavier in the nature, it is going to settle at the bottom. Alright? So, by a process of filtration or decantation, we are going to separate that sand from the salt water. So, now we are left with salt water. Now we are left with salt water. Assume now in the beaker we have only salt water. So what we have to do? We have to take evaporation process. We take evaporation process. Right? As we keep heating this beaker, <coughs> the liquid is going to turn into gaseous state the liquid get vaporized and whatever remaining whatever the remaining part is there in that beaker it will be of salt because as that salt is in solid state this is by evaporation so in this activity till what we have used we have used filtration and evaporation or decantation and evaporation so here we have used totally two methods to separate the liquids, right? To separate the mixture, we have used two methods here. One is filtration and evaporation or decantation and evaporation. Is this clear? We have water. Water is called universal solvent. Water is called universal solvent. Why it is called as universal solvent? Because it can dissolve many things than other liquids. That is why it is called as universal solvent. As this water is going to get dissolved many things in it. That is the reason why it is known as universal solvent. Then Whenever, whenever a substance is dissolved in water, then we call it as solution. For example, if you dissolve salt in water, it is called salt solution. If you dissolve sugar in water, then it is called as sugar solution. So, Whatever things are dissolved in the water, then it is going to form solution. What it is going to form? It is going to form solution. And remember, what substance you have dissolved in it is going to be solid. Are you getting my point? So, the substance which you have dissolved, substance that is dissolved in water is said to be solid. Then at last we will come across another word called as solvent. This is the substance which has dissolved in the other substance. The substance in which solid is dissolved. The substance in which this solid is dissolved is known as solvent. For all these three, that is solution, solvent, and solvent, we we'll give an example. Right? For example, this is a beaker which is having a mixture of water and then sugar. So, water plus the sugar makes sugar solution. So you must remember 
सॉल्यूशन इज नथिंग बट सॉल्यूट प्लस सॉल्वेंट अर्थ आता सॉल्यूशन ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಅದರೊಳಗೆ ಸಾಲ್ಯೂಟ್ ಇರಬೇಕು ಸಾಲ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಇರಬೇಕು ಆಗ ನಾವು ಸಾಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಕರೆತೀವಿ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಸಾಲ್ಯೂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಶುಗರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಶುಗರ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಶುಗರ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಲೆಸ್ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಿಟಿ ಕಂಪೇರ್ಡ್ ಟು ವಾಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೈ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಶುಗರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಿಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಸಾಲ್ವೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಸೋ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಶುಗರ್ ಸಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಸೋ ಇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ solid and you know, the substance that is dissolved so if substance yav dissolve madu now we have dissolved sugar artha ayta then solvent a solvent na nin edralli dissolve madtiya adakke now solvent anta karthivi is this clear okay so at last we are left with uh, another concept that is the last concept temperature and solubility temperature and solubility fine what we will do we will take one beaker and with the help of bunsen burner we keep providing heat to that beaker and in beaker we will be having salt solution that is salt plus water So, beaker salt 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 start to this beaker at that moment if you keep stirring it it is not going to dissolve it is going to come and settle at the bottom so yavagana veste tirisidru eshte adanna correct aagi prayatna madidru aa salt karagudilla avaga adella bandu aa beaker kelaga bandu settle aagutadu bottom of the beaker is settle aagutadu so avaga avu enu antivi it has reached its saturation ಅಂದ್ರ ಅದು ಇನ್ನ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾಲ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ಡಿಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ ಆಗಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ನೋ ಮೋರ್ ಸಾಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ನೋ ಮೋರ್ ಸಾಲ್ಯೂಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಡಿಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಅವಾಗ ನಾವು ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ರೀಚ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಚುರೇಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಯ್ತಾ is this clear saturation means no more solute can be dissolved in the solvent no more solute can be dissolved in the solvent at a given temperature so ee temperature ge yavaga inna ondishtu solute na add maadikoluvanta capacity kalakottada ಟೆಂಪರೇಚರ್ ಗೆ ಅದು ಎಷ್ಟು ಸಾಲ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋತದ ಅದಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗಿ ಡಿಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಆ ಟೆಂಪರೇಚರ್ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಇರಂಗಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಆ ಟೆಂಪರೇಚರ್ ನಾವು ಹೆಚ್ಚಿಗೆ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಹೀಟ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕಾಗ್ತದೆ ಅವಾಗ ನೀವು ಹಾಕಿದ್ರೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅದ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಯ್ತಾ ಸೊ ಇನ್ನೇನು ಕರಗಂಗಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ತಂದು ನಮ್ಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗ್ತದಲ್ಲ ಅವಾಗ ಆ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಅದು ಸ್ಯಾಚುರೇಷನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಬಂದದ ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟಾನ್ಸಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಸೈಸಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಟಿಲ್ ದೆನ್ ಕೀಪ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಬುಕ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇ 